Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at this question, which is in topic 3, identities and inequalities, and topic 4, graphs. This question is the first question on paper 1 of the sample assessment material for this qualification. As I wanted to go through those four specific questions, which I've already uploaded, I'm going to now be going through the remainder of the 18 questions across these two papers in sequential order so that you may have a look at the solutions please. Alright, so this question is asking us to sketch these two lines here, sketch the lines with the equations 2x plus 3y equals 8 and 2y equals 4x plus 1 and then on the sketch we must show the coordinates of the points where lines cross the coordinate axes. Okay, show points cross coordinate axes sketch these two lines okay so there are these two are the two different forms of a linear equation and generally when working out a linear when when sketching linear equation you can just plot you can just plot the point where it crosses the x-axis plot the point where it crosses the y-axis and then draw a line in between so Let's say, for example, 2x plus 3y equals 8. So we have that, that equation here, 2x plus 3y equals 8. And we want to find the point where it crosses the y-axis. So on the y-axis, x is 0, so we can discard this 2x term. 3y is equal to 8, y is equal to 8 over 3. So we can plot it there at around 8 over 3. And then when y is equal to 0 on the x-axis, we can discard the 3y term because it will be equal to 0. 2x is equal to 8. x is equal to 4. And so we get the point here at 4, 0. And then there's a line in between. Now I'll just extend this line a bit in both directions, so it's easier to see. And then to make it clear to the examiner, make it easy for the examiner to see which line is which, just say this is 2x plus 3y equals 8. And now we want to plot the other one, 2y equals 4x plus 1. Alright, so 2y is equal to 4x plus 1. When y equals 0, 4x plus 1 equals 0, and subtract 1 from both sides, 4x is minus 1, divide both sides by 4, x is negative 1 over 4. So you just set y to 0 and solve the equation for x to find this point here, which is at negative 1 over 4 and 0. And then you set x to 0 to find the point on the y-axis. So 0 plus 1 equals 2y, 1 equals 2y, divide both sides by 2, y equals 1 over 2. You get the point here. And then the line goes through those two points, and you can draw it like that. So that's part A of the question completed. And then now it's telling us to show, by, sh by shading on your sketch, the region R defined by these inequalities. Now what jumps to mind is that this inequality is the same at, is similar to this equation and this inequality is similar to this equation. So I think that we can just use the same lines because it's the same equation. But instead of an equal sign there is a less than or equal to sign. So we must determine which, si which side of the line that is. So for example, if x is 0, 3y must be less than or equal to 8. So that means it'll be down. And since it's down, we know it is not on this side. So let's just shade this here to show that we know it is. 
not on this side. And then 2y is less than or equal to 4x plus 1. Let's say x is 0, 2y is less than or equal to 1. Oh my goodness, we have to write the coordinates here. 2y is less than or equal to 1, so it must be underneath this curve as well, because it's looking for something that's down from here. So we know it's not on this side of the curve either. Now finally, we have y is greater than or equal to 0. So if you take the line y equals 0, which is just the x-axis, it must be above it. So we know it is not here because y must be greater than or equal to 0. So let's shade this part. And then finally, x must be less than or equal to 2. So we draw the line x is equal to 2, which is going to be around here. And x must be less than or equal to 2. So it must be on this side. So this side is invalid. So now we know it must it's it's not on this side, not on this side, not on this side of this line. So this is also not okay. And then it's not underneath the x-axis as well. Then we know the remaining region in here must be R. So we'll just write a big R and make your R stand out so the examiner can read it better. Otherwise, there may be ambiguity, and an examiner marking many, many scripts does not want to have to look hard for your answers. So yeah, R is this region here, bounded by these four lines, which you calculated the positions of from the way they are set out. And if you recall that the way to sketch these lines is generally to find a point on the y-axis, a point on the x-axis, and connect the dots because a line from two points will always continue forever accurately. So let's see if we got this correct. I'm aware that the mark scheme would require us normally to shade in the region R, but since it is actually more difficult to shade in the region after you have shaded in all the other sides of the regions where it couldn't be possible simply in order to find the region that is valid you can just leave that blank but shade in everything outside of it just to let the examiner know that you know that that is the region they want. Alright, so this is the marking for 1A and B. As you can see, we got our two lines pretty well. And then we have it on this side of this line, and this side of this line, this side of this line, and this side of this line. So, yep, all in here is what we decided our R was. So that's another few ticks. You just have to have both correct lines for the two marks for A. And then one mark is for this line here, because any idiot can tell you that it has to be above the x-axis. And one mark is for getting the actual region correct. So that means you need to demonstrate that you know which side of which line the final region is going to be in. Alright, thanks for watching.